Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital receives a number of koalas from the Fraser Coast region and in the last 12 months we had two from an area of high development at Burrell. One of them was hit by a car, little Herbert, and he spent four months in care at the hospital. Um, he was very lucky to be alive, he required a lot of stabilisation but he had no fractures so he was lucky, he was mainly internal injuries. And the other one, Lemongrass, was from the same location uh, with, brought in with her mother a year before Herbert. Um, she was only a little baby on her mother's back and her mother was severely affected with chlamydial disease and she had cataracts in both eyes so she was blind and needed to be euthanized. So little Lemongrass was sent to a wildlife carer. It was apparent that neither Herbert nor Lemongrass could be returned to where they were from because their habitat no longer existed. So um, we made an application to the Department of Environment to get permission to translocate them to a lovely property called Tandora. It's, it's like a little paradise for koalas. Tandora is a large cattle property and it's um, 11,000 acres, so it's a large area um, and it's, it's sort of made up of open paddocks um, and areas of eucalyptic forest. Tandora was identified as a good spot for Herbert and Lemongrass to go because there was already an established research project going on there and we've already moved a number of koalas that have come through the wildlife hospital here up to that site as part of that project. very safe, um, there's you know wild dog control up there, there's no cars nearby um, and the owner himself is very conservation minded so keeps a good close eye on the koalas. One of the um, key reasons why Herbert and Lemongrass are going to be um, very valuable koalas to that project is that they're bringing in new genetics. So the Tandora population um, has been started from individual animals that have come through the hospital that needed um, a place to go back and live basically. So a new colony of koalas has basically started on this property and it's really vital that we continue to add good genetic material to that population so that they continue to thrive in the future. The University of Queensland has the monitoring project um, on Tandora and as part of that koalas that go there are fitted with radio tracking collars um, and they are monitored while they're on that property. The collars that they're wearing are fitted specifically for each individual and they have a special weak link in them so that if they were ever to get caught on anything they would come off easily and not harm the koala. The ear tags that the koalas have in their ears are very much like a human earring with a front and a back. Very lightweight, don't do any harm to the koalas whatsoever. One of the really fancy things about um, the monitoring up there is that we can actually see them remotely and we can actually follow where the koalas are going in almost real time. So that gives us a bit of peace of mind as to knowing what's going on with those animals um, when we can't actually be there on site all the time. I'm very confident that Herbert and Lemongrass are going to succeed really well on this property and will be vital to the population and I'm looking forward to getting back to see them in a few weeks time. You little beauty! Click on the links to see more videos just like this and don't forget to subscribe.